Okay, here we are again in Caden Live, and uh, hopefully you've watched the previous videos in this series. I'm gonna make my tracks bigger here, and then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to import a bunch of video clips and an audio clip, which is some music. So they'll all be added here. Um, I really need to change my default to match my camera, but I'll switch to fit the clips that I just imported. Now, scrolling down here, you can see all the video clips that's generating thumbnails right now, and then the music clip. And music, of course, you can use whatever you'd like, but if you want your video to be, you know, legal and you're not creating any music yourself, you're gonna to need to get music that you have the rights to use. Creative Commons is a great option. And here are three sites that I use a lot that have not only Creative Commons, but uh, our Creative Commons for commercial use. All you have to do is give attribution in the videos. Uh, so first one here, lots of options here. And it's actual, you know, a lot of real instruments. And I use this the music here a lot for my home videos, which is joshwoodward.com. Uh, there you can search through his videos. Uh, or sorry, well, there, there are videos for each song, but search through his songs, you can do by mood, you can do by tempo and by length if you would like. Uh, also, if you when you click on a song, again, he usually has a YouTube video, he'll have his lyrics, um, but he also has a download for the MP3, but most importantly, he has a download for instrumental because lots of times when you're doing a video, you just want instrumental in the background. So there you can listen to the song when you choose it. When you go to download it, he asks for your, your email account just so he has a, you know, a record of who's using his music. You know he, He's very organized here giving you tags and tempo and measures and everything for the music and the key it's in. So that is one website I use. Another one, and this one, you have heard music by this guy before, uh, Kevin um, uh, Mc, McLeod uh, from IncomeTech.com, and his music is all over YouTube. It's used all the time. Again, it's a Creative Commons for commercial use attribution. So all you have to do is in the credits of the video, say that you got this song from his website. I think he likes if you uh, also list the name of the song, because he's got so many, so that way people can find it there. And then one, the selection isn't as big here, but this is a lot of good music. Uh, ben Sound, Ben Sound, uh, I describe a lot of this music, not all of it, but a lot of it is like presentation music. If you're making like a commercial or doing like a presentation for somebody, it's all like that kind of music, you know, there's like elevator type music. They also have like some dubstep in here and stuff. Uh, but we're actually gonna be using this cute. So I'm giving him attribution right now to saying bensound.com. In fact, when you go to download one of his songs and you click download, it says all you have to do is get, say music by bensound.com. And so you can put that in the credits of your video. Um, and then of course they have a pro license if you don't want to, ha to have to give credit. You can also get a, a WAV file if you want a higher quality clip. I'm just going for the free MP3 here. Let's go back to our edit here. So let me go ahead and drag my music down. So today we're just gonna actually edit a video. Now, if you pull a video down with uh, no video clips, you'll hear the audio, but see no video in the project monitor. In the clip video, clip editor, if I just press play here, you actually see the little waveforms, which is nice. And of course, you can see the waves here, so it makes it easier to know where and when to cut. Now, let me give you some advice on video editing, especially when it comes to home videos. Look at all my clips here. They're all three or four seconds. I'm gonna tell you right now, for the most part, and when it comes to this, it's an art, so it's all rule of thumb, but watch TV shows, even TV shows like Law and Order or something, where someone's in a room talking to somebody, and count the number of seconds before they cut to a new camera angle. I, in most cases, and not all the time, but in most cases, they will cut to a new camera angle in under six seconds. Lots of times, it's a lot. You don't realize how much they change camera angles until you start counting. And lots of times, especially in high action stuff, but even just people talking, it will be like one, two, maybe three seconds before they cut to another camera angle. So my goal usually when I'm recording, and of course, you also have to know your music. If your music's up 
upbeat, you probably want shorter clips. If it's a slower song, longer clips is a little bit better. And uh, in fact, these clips, I said, most of them are three, maybe four seconds long. Um, and that's actually a little slow for this music. So in reality, if I was to edit this, I'd probably either pick a slower song or trim these clips down, which I actually have a script that will trim clips, all clips in a directory to the length I tell it to. But uh, all my clips are like that, and it's going to save you a lot of editing. That way you don't have to trim them. Most of my videos, my home videos, are just like this. I drag and drop, and right now I'm 99% done. So I am going to zoom in here now. Also, audio, audio is the hardest part of video editing. But with something like this, I am going to... This is uh, from like a year and a half ago. This is a clip of my, my daughter and actually it's probably longer than a year and a half ago. This had to be two years ago. Um, my daughter and some of her friends at an event in town where they got to go look at big trucks, dump trucks, garbage trucks, fire trucks, and it's very noisy. So I'm really not gonna use any of the audio except for one or two of the clips. So what I normally do in clips like this, I either mute the audio from the original video completely or if I do, sometimes it seems a little weird not having the audio there. What you can do, I've showed you how to add effects to individual clips. Some effects you can add to the full track. So here I'm going to type in volume and I'm going to go key frameable, but instead of dragging it to a clip, I'm going to grab it, uh, drag it to the track here. And now it affects the whole track and I can actually lower this down and when I press play here, Let's see if we get a clip where there's actually more audio, but let's see. Where's the clip with the kids playing? So I don't even know how well the microphone's picking this up because all my audio is coming through a microphone for this recording here. Um, but yeah. Sometimes, especially with kids playing, sometimes it's, it's fun to hear the sound of the kids playing, but what they're actually saying isn't important to the video. So I'll do this like I just did, where I'll lower the audio way down so you can still hear it and you get the feel, you get the atmosphere of, the, of, the, of what the scene is, but the audio isn't, isn't a big deal. But even then, if one clip is louder than the other, you might have to go in and fade it in and out, and that adds extra work. And with something like this, it's really not necessary. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna forget about that. I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna mute that track. And now I said that most of my clips are three to four seconds. And again, that's just a rule of thumb, especially if something important's happening and you don't wanna miss any of it, you know. But um, when you're recording, record three seconds, move to another angle, or just zoom in or zoom out or something and start recording again, two to three seconds. So. But I usually do my first and usually my last clip closer to five seconds because as I've mentioned, I like to do fades from black. So I start my video off. So, and again, I actually, I feel like this video, the clip should have been closer to two seconds long. And also, especially if it's a home movie, People really don't want to watch your home movie if it's more than two or three minutes long. So we were at this event for an hour, hour and a half, and I got, this is every clip that I, I recorded while I was there. I got some still shots too, but these are all the, the clips. And you can see I, it's, it's only two and a half minutes. It doesn't need to be longer than that. Uh, just a rule of thumb, because I'm just talking from experience. Back in the day, I used to record hours and hours of video and then try to trim it down, but it'd still be like 15 minutes long for something like this. No one wants to watch that. Um, <laughs> you know, unless there's a plot that people are following, something like this, people are like, you just want to remember it. You want to remember what your kids look like, remember what you did. So short little clips like this are great. So again, 99% done. Few things I want to change here, just scr uh, scrubbing through all the video here. So it ends with my daughter spraying down some, some uh, cones with the fire hose there, with the fire truck which is the fire department I work for, which is really cool that I have clips of her doing this. Um, but earlier in, in the clips, right here, we ha I have video of the fire truck pulling up. So what I wanna do is actually wanna, I'm gonna move this, and this is more editing than I do in most of my home videos, because usually I'd be 99% done right now. Um, 
and I put them here. So now we have all the day with the truck and then right here, the fire truck shows up, right? And I'm even going to switch these clips because this is the truck pulling into the parking lot and you can see my daughter in the bottom right corner there running up to the truck and then they kind of drive by and park. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna swap those around because again, this is just personal preference. I think it looks better because they're going faster here and then they slow and stop. You see my daughter running and the next clip, she's spraying the fire hose, right? And again, all the audio for those clips are is muted but uh, this clip here of her actually spraying the hose, I might actually want to hear that little clip. It might be fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these last two clips and drag them up. See, this bottom track is muted, but this track isn't. And then I don't want it to harshly cut in, so I'm going to select this clip here, and I'm going to go fade in. And now I can press play. And again, you can have the audio here if you'd like, but I don't think it's necessary. But then at this part, See, look at Daddy and smile. Of course, then it just cuts out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this last clip. I'm going to go fade to black and fade audio out. And there we go now. Now, uh, the last part of this would normally be um, uh, I would have it fade to black and then I would fade in a title screen usually with the date and the name of the event you know oh this was July 14th or whatever and I would also have a title clip uh, showing you know saying Ben sound so actually let, let's go ahead I was actually gonna do another video on title clips but let's just go ahead and do it now I can click here and the title clip editor out of everything in Caden Live, tends to be the buggiest thing. So actually, before we even go into it, I'm going to click Save, and I'm going to type in this file, Caden Live. I don't even know what video I'm on. I'm on video four, I think. Um, so now I'm going to say, I don't think it's going to crash the program, but it still is kind of buggy. So you know, I'm trying to be honest with you where there's issues. So here is your title clip editor. I can click in here and I can choose different fonts from my system. So let me just grab one like this one and I can say truck event. Actually, that's a horrible font. Let's choose a different font. Let's do, I was looking at this, not what it actually looks like over there. Let's see, just, I just want a simple font, simple font, simple font, whatever, that's good enough. So here's truck event. I'm just giving you an example here. So I can click that now. I can also, you know, turn up the font size. So I'll put that to 100. Uh, you also have options for the color. Obviously, you can make it different colors. Uh, you can granulate it so that uh, um, I said granulate. Um, you can have it fade. Whatever you said. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, you can adjust the colors here. You know, if I wanted to be green and blue, I can have it be green and blue and where it actually changes the angle um, and there's other animation stuff in fact I am going to do a whole tutorial on the clip editor uh, but for right now create your text select the color these tools up here are for aligning you know left right center top bottom center usually I'll do center and center and then center my text inside that box there are other options here again we'll go over that in future videos as well as animating these in these um, clips. I'll click OK and I'll put it right there and by default it comes with this little layer effect which will also get into layer effects in future videos but I'm not layering it over another video so I'm just going to delete that so it's not in the way and again I'm just going to grab the corners here and drag them in which will be give me the fade in effect so there we go and then I'll also want my audio to fade out at a certain point so I'll use X and then cut right there S on my keyboard delete that and I will fade the audio out. So now we have our audio fade out. And uh, I will put this clip at the end of this tutorial. So right after this, I'm just gonna say thanks for watching. Visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description of that where you can search through all my videos. This is part of a series. Be sure to check out all of them. There should be a playlist. So check out the links in the description for everything. 
Um, also, uh, I ask that you check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000, uh, and you can become a supporter over there. I thank you for watching, and here is the clip that we just created. Have a great day.